Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your premier source for Second Amendment news. It's Monday morning, it's the Monday morning grind, brought to you by Blackout Coffee. Uh, they taste great, it's less filling, and it's fantastic, and they help support the channel. So grab yourself some coffee, check them out, I'll have a link down below. Uh, and also a coupon to save you some money. So let's talk about what it's looking to be good news right now. Uh, you remember within the last week or two, uh, I started to talk to you about how... Uh, the actually a, a conglomerate of Depu Republicans and Democrats were begging Nancy Pelosi to include some gun control in the next round of the stimulus bill, Phase Four here coming up. Uh, well, uh, immediately we took some action. We being the people and uh, different groups like Firearms Policy Coalition, Gun Owners of America, and more. And just on the GOA side, uh, they put out a thing this week that over a 1 million emails were generated through their uh, tabs where you can go in and just fill out your name, your information, and they send off an email in your name. Over 1 million were sent out. And uh, according to GOA, uh, the it, it actually <laughs> it's working. Uh, so Mitch McConnell in the Senate has said that they're uh, going to block the attempts to... Uh, put this gun control into the stimulus bill. Uh, so that is good news. It's not done yet. Um, it's not time to rest until it's actually defeated or, or thwarted, but it's looking good. And in talks with some other people and some other groups, that this is basically their last attempt, their last chance, last opportunity to force some gun control on, on America until after the November elections. So they're probably going to try hard. So why is the Violence Against Women Act such a, a danger for gun owners? Well, like I said before in a couple of videos, and even in the video I did when I covered the bill itself when Pelosi jammed it full of gun control, uh, it, it is bad because it has uh, red flag language built into it. And it would even create a whole new category of, of people who couldn't get their Second Amendment rights returned to them even though the right would be taken without uh, a hearing, much like a red flag. And it's it's kind of insane, the language that's in there as it currently sits. If you date somebody for a day, uh, they would always be a dating relationship uh, person underneath the law, and they could get you jammed up with restraining orders down the road, red flag, etc. Um, you know, it, it's just very, very dangerous. Now... Also, what you should know is that 87 members of Congress, 87, some were Democrats, some were Republicans, sent letters to the leadership asking them specifically to include the Violence Against Women Act into the next stimulus bill. Uh, so they are pushing, and they're pushing hard. I'm sure Michael Bloomberg is dying to get the red flag, which he has pocketed and, and backed across the whole nation he would love to get it forced through to a national level and it's not just Nancy Pelosi Chuck Schumer is also looking to do his thing uh, related to what Pelosi is doing in the Senate um, so we have to be vocal we cannot sit back and hope that other people will do it for us uh, if you did not get part uh, if you did not take part in the uh, GOA effort to contact your senators. I know Firearms Policy Coalition is doing one as well. Jump on those. They need to hear you. Call them. Go see them if they still have office hours. Wear a mask maybe if it makes them feel better. Um, but it's time to take the country back. Uh, we can be shut down no longer and they're not going to force gun control in to try to make us feel better with another payoff called the stimulus. Um, what do you think? I want to hear your voices down below. I'm at the point now, day, I don't know, what is day 465 of this lockdown, um, us folks who aren't sick shouldn't be forced into house arrest. Um, we can't do things that we should be doing because of fear, and that is not the way America was uh, created, that's not what America was meant to be, and we can't let it become that. It's enough. It's time for us to just open the country up ourselves. If, uh, you know, gun shops in states like mine that have been forced to close, open back up. I know some that have stayed open and in fear of the Attorney General and her, you know, Nazi ways or whatever, they've stayed open. Uh, and it's time for the rest of us to open up. Just go back to normal life. 
Uh, I'm sure that if you do get jammed up and you get a fine, I'm sure we could take care of you with a GoFundMe. Uh, but it's time for us to just make a point that we're done. Uh, we don't go into martial law, martial law lockdown and, and ordered uh, house arrest for a virus. We just don't. All right. This is a huge test run at what they can do if they put everybody in fear. And I would have to say it's been a huge success for them. Um, you know, and I get a lot of people with the comments of saying that, you know, can't you guys just not shoot for a month and then have everybody be healthy and blah, 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 blah. Dude, it's much more than that. And, and if, if that's your mindset, so be it. Uh, but uh, you need to broaden your scope a little bit because you're really not paying attention to what's going on. All right. So thank you all for your support. The, the channel is still kicking along. I took two days off. It's been a rough uh, week. The back is uh, just junk again. Uh, so here we are Monday. I'm sure as the sun comes up today, we'll hear more about Pelosi's attempt here. And uh, we'll see in the next couple days to a couple weeks to see if our voices and uh, the emails and notices sent out did their job. So keep at it. If you haven't done it, please do it. Uh, and also, don't forget, you have to join the groups that are supporting us right now. Firearms Policy Coalition, Gun Owners of America, Second Amendment Foundation, and others. Uh, they're all doing a hell of a job uh, suing state after state after state, governor after governor, mayor. Uh, it's it's popping off like it's uh, like it's cool, <laughs> and we shouldn't have to sue to have our constitutionally guaranteed rights uh, or constitutionally recognized rights that are given to us by the Creator. Uh, so it's just getting crazy out there. All right, guys, if you haven't uh, subscribed to this channel. This is where you're going to find that Second Amendment news that you're not going to see anywhere else. And you're going to see it a lot, almost on a daily basis here on Guns and Gadgets. So please hit that subscribe button. Hit that uh, bell icon next to it. Toggle the option to all notifications so that you can be notified when I do put out new information. And if you'd like to support Guns and Gadgets here, uh, there's a link down below to Patreon. Uh, the Patreon uh, members are direct supporters. Uh, the lifeblood of this channel, that's how I get to afford... Uh, the camera and the microphone that you see me on every single day and the tripod and all that stuff so thank you to my patrons i can't thank you enough and until we see each other again be safe stay vigilant and carry your weapon take care everybody